Hi everyone and welcome to Poppy DIY Crafts. Today we have another Elves box from Sophie and Toffee. So this is a subscription box that I get every single month and I'm always looking forward to it because every month is different. So this is the September box. Let's take a look. Oh look at this, it says creepy cute. Oh and there's a little hourglass here. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and take a look at all the items. I actually get the premium box, so in addition to the regular items, I also get the premium items. So let's go ahead and take a look at the regular items. First up is a lilac hourglass. Oh my goodness, this is actually made of glass. I thought it was going to be plastic. So it has purple sand in it or lilac sand. And this is a three minute timer. Oh, this is so cute. Next we have a mold. So this mold will, so this mold is used to hold the timer. So we make the bottom here and then we can put the timer inside. And I think if you actually make two of them, you can put the other one on top so that it's encased. That's really cool too. Look at this. This looks like there are bats in there. So this is kind of a Halloween theme. Next, we have a piece of resin film with some Halloween designs on it. Look, there's a ghost, there's a little cauldron, some eyeballs, bats, oh my goodness. Okay, next one, we have a random glow-in-the-dark UV resin. So this one, I'm not sure what color it is. It might be green and orange. I think this is green and orange. And of course, to help us with this project, we get our resin. It has part A and part B. Here's some pigment dye and lilac and pink. Here's a packet of chain and hoops. I think this is for the hourglass holder. And oh my goodness, look at this. We got some little crystal glass hearts. Oh, how shiny. So that's it for the regular box. The premium box comes with Let's see, two headbands. These are wrapped in, uh, in cloth, so these are really nice. We have a large piece of mold. Oh, look, it's Halloween themed. So we've got a bow, we've got candy, ghost, ears. So I think these are made so that you can attach them to the headpieces. As you can see, it's a little bit curved here. So little headbands here, you can make little ears. Oh, or little bat wings. And here is a little mold with some shaker bits. So these are also Halloween themed. Oh my goodness, how cute. But this month we actually did not get a shake, so you can use it with your own mold. And here are some hair clips. So if you don't want to use the headband, you can actually attach the ears and the wings to the hair clips. And our last piece here is a piece of shaker film. So this one would go with this and your own mold. All right, let's go ahead and make the little hourglass holder. So in this mold, I can see that there's a lot of details. There's like a little bat, a little bows in there, and a little skull. And I think if we just poured resin inside, we would actually lose a lot of the details. So what I wanted to do is use some UV resin to color in the little details and then we'll pour in the regular resin. These UV resins are from a previous box. We're going to squeeze the resin directly onto the mold and fill the cavity. And put it under the UV light to cure it. Using a stick, we can spread it evenly. We're going to do the same with a skull using white UV resin. And then we're going to fill the inside of the little wings here with yellow. I'm going to do this to all four wings. And add a little bit of white. Now we're going to mix our resin. I'm going to add the pink to one of them. And the purple to the other. Then we're going to pour both colors in. Using the heat gun, we'll pop the bubbles. And since we have some extra resin, I'm going to fill in the shaker mold with it. I don't know if I use them yet, but we can always save them for another project. 
It's been a day and our resin is cured. Let's demold and see what it looks like. Oh wow, this looks nice. Even has the holes for the chain. So since we only have one mold, I want to make a top and bottom piece for the hourglass. So we're going to redo the whole process again and make the top piece. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to start with a UV resin in various colors. And then pour in the regular resin in pink and lavender. Once again, we're going to wait a day for it to cure. And our second piece is done. So let's go ahead and take it out of the mold. Oh, this is looking so cute. So now we have two pieces. And put this on top. And we want to hold it together with the chain. All right, everyone, and we are done. Just take a look at this. Isn't this so delicate? I love it. Oh my goodness. So we had the two top pieces here and we added the chain. I think the chain really completes the look. And so right now it's still a tiny bit wobbly because I did not glue the uh, hourglass down. I was just kind of setting it up to, just to see if it works well. So I think uh, the next step is to really just glue the, um, the hourglass to the resin and then it won't fall over. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. I love the colors. The yellow really stand out against the purple and pink backdrop. Alright everyone, so I had a lot of fun with the September Elves box. I hope you enjoyed watching it too. And if you want to get your own box, head on over to Sophie and Toffee. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye!